हेलो गाइस आई एम नोनॉप प्रिंस एंड टुडे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट फोटो प्रेम अ मराठी मूवी रिसेंटली केम आउट ऑन एमेजॉन प्राइम डायरेक्टेड बाय गायत्री पाटिल एंड आदित्य राठी स्टारिंग नीना कुलकर्णी गॉट टू नो अबाउट द फिल्म फ्रॉम प्राइड एंड फ्यूज प्रोडक्शंस वॉच इट ऑन एमेजॉन एंड रियली रियली लाइक डेट व्हाट अ स्वीट एंड क्यूट फिल्म एंड अ वेरी कूल एंड फ्रेश सब्जेक्ट We haven't seen anything like this. I don't think we humans even think about these things. What the film is trying to explore, you know, following a journey of an aged woman who don't really have good pictures, she is a photophobic, and suddenly she realizes what picture will people use after she is dead for her funeral, and we see her struggle throughout the film. And a lot of places, the film became very philosophical, and I love that. But the film kept it very simple, so it's accessible to more people. Now I'll be going into the spoilers, so you can stop the video, go watch the film, and then come back. We have a Discord server, so if you want to join us, link will be in the description. we talk about movies we watch movies there and it's a great community do join us and you know recommend us more marathi movies there you know a question arises why is there no picture of her we get to know she is a photophobic she has fear of cameras she is afraid of being clicked but why in this world of tech savvy everyone is taking selfies everyone is uploading pictures on internet why she is left behind and we see everyone around her they all are into it but not her and soon you realize it's because of the patriarchal society she is living in and we see those hints throughout the film the husband always come planning no food on time why you are talking to the neighbors a lot whereas he is not coming home early so what will she do and throughout the film she is talking to herself in her mind because there is no one around her to talk she really doesn't have an identity you know she has spent all her life to live for others because that's what she is trained for she really doesn't have any value the family never cared about her they never cared why she doesn't have a picture let's click a picture with her if she is scared let's talk to her get her used to it she is literally unable to smile she doesn't know how to smile and no one cares about that a really interesting part was her visiting all the funerals in the city you know kind of preparing and planning what her funeral be like learning from all of them now i did feel in the story that there was a conflict missing because we know she is afraid but we never get to know why her being afraid of getting clicked is a internal fight but there is no external pressure at all the only pressure or you know ticking clock is that she may die any time she needs to click a picture fast but there is no disease nothing like that like normally we all have to die one day so she is also you know thinking it can arrive any day she is aged but there is no other conflict to it than that you know no one is stopping her from you know getting clicked or learning how to get a picture clicked no one is stopping she can go out there get a picture click that's it the only conflict is the inner conflict and i think that is very weak because the film doesn't really show why she is afraid of it and i can only understand maybe there's no reason to it at all maybe some people are not into it they are not trained into it they are you know shy i can understand that but in a film you need something so the story becomes more engaging more interesting but here you know there were so many instances i was like just get a picture click that's it you know it's like it's not the end of the world if there was a bigger conflict maybe there was a disease or maybe she had to hide no one should see she is getting a picture click then the stakes would have been higher and you know it would be more engaging but that wasn't the case now there was this irritating lady she was popping again and again throughout the film obsessed with solapur in the beginning i did find it irritating but as she came more often it became better and became more funny i was actually expecting you know she'll come back again at the end and maybe you know she will drive her or she will give a message to her and that's why we are building this character again and again maybe she will bring that catharsis moment for her but that didn't happen at all and i did feel it was a wasted opportunity i think the mixer was a very big metaphor of her own life that as soon as she took charge of her own life you know got that webcam and started clicking pictures she also bought the new mixer she doesn't have to you know get this old one get repaired again and again and again and that whole session where she was clicking pictures with the webcam that was very relatable because i also do that making thumbnails for the videos Now there was this great dialogue in the film which I really loved you know that if there is no picture of you left no one will remember you there is no identity left for people to remember that a photo becomes your identity becomes your mark that you ever existed it is a proof of your existence and that's a really really interesting thought but there is a counter argument too you know how would you even know if people remember you or not what happens after that who knows does it even matter and that's of course up for debate but she wants to be remembered you know and she believes that because she never met her grandfather but there was a picture of the grandfather in the house and she heard stories about the grandfather just looking at the picture and imagine everything and it stayed with her till date 
and that's what she wants with her that even if she's gone she wants the later generation to remember her through the stories so she needs that picture it's also your choice how you want to be remembered you know what picture you want to show to your successors how do you want them to remember you now definitely the choice is yours but that choice may not match with how people see you and i think we see that at the end where she finally gets the best picture she thinks she should look like what she thinks she is but that doesn't match with what the family ever saw her the family looks at that picture and say it's like a strange woman we don't even know her because they really don't because whoever she was was hidden was never out to them and i think that was a fabulous end to the movie it ends like a joke but there's so much the movie is trying to say and that's what i love about it the acting performances were superb i've seen nina kulkarni a lot on tv and you know she has played different roles throughout the years but she was fabulous in this film and all the remaining cast did a good job again guys a very sweet lovely fresh idea you know we never think about and very well explored so guys that was the video if you like this hit the thumbs up button share this video let me in the comments your thoughts if you haven't subscribed yet check out the videos if you like them too look at subscribing and i'll see you next time